In this video, we are going to compare the Intel's newer i5-6600 with the older Haswell's i5-4570 processor. So, we have a gap of 2 years between 2013, second quarter of 2013 and we are here in October 2015. Uh, both these processors have 6 MB of uh, cache memory, so that is not going to make any difference in the performance of these two processors. So, let us see what else we have. The number of cores, that is one thing very important and more than uh, it is even more than the number of hyper threads, but we have both of them are the same. We do not have a support for the hyper threading which allows uh, to uh, two threads to run in the same physical core. Now, this is Skylax 6600 is clocked higher at 3.3 gigahertz versus 3.2 gigahertz and the max clock turbo frequency is also higher by 300 megahertz and it is able to do increase its clock frequency even while keeping its power consumption low. So, that is magnificent. So, you can expect the Skylac to be faster than the Haswell i5-4570 by substantial amount. Not only that we have an improved architecture, we also have a higher clock frequency. So, these things are going to add up to uh, in favor of Skylac. So, before we go to the benchmark score, let us take a look at a few more differences. One of them is the DDR4, uh, that is the new thing in Skylac, even though it is it does not improve performance or the bandwidth of the DDR communication between the processor and the memory, but it works at lower 1.2 volt compared to 1.5 volt of the earlier Haswell DDR3. So, the we have some amount of power saving here, it is not very important for desktops. Uh, Moving beyond that, we have a newer HD Graphics 530. It is only marginally better than HD Graphics 4600. They work at the same clock frequency, they have same architecture. So, that is more or less what we have. In terms of pass mark, we see here 7383 for i5-6600 versus 7020 for i5-4570. So, if you want to calculate in terms of percentage, we have 7380 minus 7020 divide by 7020 and then multiply it by 100, you get 5.12 percent of difference. That is more or less what we had thought of to be, out of which about 1.5 percent comes from the processor architecture improvement and rest of the things could be coming from uh, improved clock frequency which is 300 megahertz in case of turbo clock improvement. This 300 megahertz for 3.6 gigahertz is translates to uh, maybe uh, it, it does in, in the percentage is higher, but it does not translate into two performance difference. Somewhere in between, I mean that that takes these two uh, these two things make up the increase in the performance of the Skylab processor. So the bottom line, you get a five percent better faster processor, and you also get a, mm, better thermal envelope. You, and you need to pay 22 dollars extra. The, these are the current price, the prices as listed by the Intel, basically they are launch prices. You can potentially get Haswell slightly at lower price, because the retails they reduce the price over the period of time. I hope it helps you, thanks for taking a look.